In a previous video, I showed you how to take events and put them on a weekly calendar view. We have Sunday through Saturday here. We have the dates. We're using this cool little formula that updates these dates all the time as today moves. So we're taking today minus the weekday of whatever today is and adding one for Sunday, two for Monday, three for Tuesday, and so on and so forth. How do we create a monthly calendar view from this? So what's happening on this sheet is any of these dates that are this week is showing up. But I want to show the next four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. I want to show the next month. What we need to do first is add a few lines, insert two rows below. Let's do that three or four times. I'm going to copy this straight. Now, right, this is exactly the same as up here. All I really need to do is change this formula to equals this day plus seven, and then I'm going to copy and paste this across. And you see now, automatically this formula is looking at this date. This formula is saying, take a filter of all of the events in the B column whenever it equals what's just above, D5. In the date column, show it and join them all together with this join function that has a new line in it. So it's quote, it's two quotes, but with a new line inside with command enter. So automatically this formula is working for this date. So we really just needed to change these dates. Now if we copy paste again, we have the next week because this is plus seven of A5. Let's do it again. And now we have one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Let's add two more rows, or 10 more rows. And again, we're just copying and pasting this next formula, which is just adding seven above. So these dates will all automatically change every single day. These across here will stay the same for the whole week. And then the next week on the 23rd, we're going to have these all automatically disappear. And these dates will show up here because that'll be today, this week. This is pretty cool because we don't have to do much changes. We just sort of have to copy paste, add seven, and we could get 52 weeks here. We could do a lot of really cool things here, right? We could make it three months in advance events. Pretty cool to create an automatically monthly calendar view this way. In the same way we set up the weekly view, we just add more. Thanks for watching. I'm really excited that you're watching these kinds of automations. I have tons more here on Better Sheets on YouTube. Subscribe today because we're going to come out with way more automations videos very soon and probably already have hundreds on our channel. So subscribe now. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again on another video.